As connectors have evolved, so have cleaning options. Traditionally, lint-free wipes and alcohol have worked, and they still work to this day, but there are connectors out there that required specialized cleaning tools. So I'm going to go over a couple of cleaning methods, and um, as always, to stay safe, especially when using something like the alcohol pump bottle, I got my glasses here. Let's start with the LC connector or any connector similar to this that has a ferrule sticking out such as the SC, ST, FC, and the like. You know, lint-free wipe dipped in alcohol and then a dry wipe will work to clean it. Um, there's also a cassette that you can use such as this one here and that only allows for dry cleaning and it has a small wheel that allows you to dispense a fresh bit of tape there. There are also these um, HBC cleaners, IBC cleaners here. They have an adapter that allows you to plug the connector into the cleaner and then a pump action actually cleans the tip of the connector and deploys a fresh bit of tape every time you pump the tool. When cleaning two connectors that are plugged in just like this. Sometimes you just want to clean from the front of the panel and this tool will work with the adapter removed. Also, there are cleaning sticks such as this cleaning sticks that I have in here. There are some that are dedicated to 2.5 millimeter and some for 1.25 millimeter ferrules. And they look just like this and you stick them in the hole in there and you can clean the cylinder in the adapter. And then after cleaning your connectors, you can plug them in and you're sure that the whole surface plus the connectors are clean. The same is true for SC connectors, but also hardened varieties exist, such as may be found on this closure here or in the multiport. Well, how do you clean the connector that's way inside of this uh, multiport? Well, there are tools that exist, again, the, going back to the specialized tools that I talked about. There is this HC IBC, the HC meaning hardened connector, IBC cleaner. Um, there is a fresh bit of tape at the tip, and the adapter allows it to fit perfectly in there. And then, again, by using the pump action, you can clean the connector that's all the way in there. Let's talk about multi-fiber connectors, such as this MTP connector that I have here. Well, lint-free wipe and um, some alcohol should work, or even just um, dry lint-free wipe will work. Also, the tape on the cassette will work, but this only provide a dry wipe, but they work very well, especially for the connectors with the pins on them, such as may exist on a harness, because the cassettes have a ridge here that the pins straddle, allowing you to clean the middle section of the connector. And for hardened varieties of the MTP, there is a cleaner that's adapted from the MPO cleaner here with, with specialized adapter. This specialized adapter allow you to clean the jack and the plug side of this multi-fiber connectors. Because as you can see, the connector in there is deeply recessed while this is a little more accessible. So using the right um, plug adapter, you can clean this after aligning the key just by rotating the wheel. As far as cleaning the insides of the modules go, again, the MPO cleaner that we have here works very well because the connector is recessed in there and there are pins as well. So just line up the cleaner, a couple turns with the wheel, there's always fresh tape on the, on the cleaner and you're done. And that's it. Most of the tools and uh, cleaning options I've shown you here are available in our single fiber and multi fiber cleaning kits. If you have any other questions, please give us a call or send us an email at cablesystems.coning.com. And remember, Coning Cable Systems recommends getting trained in fiber optic installation. We offer a series of classes, of course, and we thank you.